What's up everyone? I'm going to do a Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy reading to see where the collective energy is right now. It feels paused, but not for long, okay? Definitely feel new connections, partnerships coming in. Yeah. Seven of Wands is on top. Okay, so let's see. Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine connection in between. And you know how I do it. You can listen to this definitely in regards to you and another person. Or um, how I like to, to do it is in regards to self and your own Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine energy within. All right, so give me one card here for Divine Feminine energy. Staying optimistic. Yeah, releasing the past. Okay. Uh, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay. But, um, I don't really feel so much that that is on, on your mind and you see how she's offering these flowers. I feel like there's a sense of gratitude for the lessons learned. Okay. From the past. And it's just, there's also this freedom. Okay. So some of you are uh, finalizing divorces or breakups or, you know, you're, you're just moving on, moving on and moving forward. All right. Give me one card for divine masculine energy. Yeah. Calling in your soulmate. So it's like, um, um, I heard something all or nothing at all. Okay. So it's like, I feel like a decision has been made to like no longer settle, right? It's no like half-ass shit. Like you're not looking to like go out and date and mingle. It's like, no, I'm like in grind mode until like, you know, somebody matches my energy. Yeah. There could, yeah, there's like, like I said, like there's some sort of separation going on. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Because I feel like um, why, this is what I'm getting. The reason why there's a separation right now is because that whatever I said before, like all or nothing at all, there's like something here about, um, there's still a little bit of, okay, I heard the words animosity. I heard, um, like, I, I feel like some of you are still working through the, the pain of whatever's, of these lessons from the past, okay? And so that's kind of like keeping you where you're at. So there's still healing happening, which is fine. You know, healing doesn't happen overnight. Like, it is a process for sure. All right, give me one card here for Divine Feminine. Clarify this staying op optimistic yeah but there is a sense of gratitude it's it is seeing the lesson but you know like i know for me like um just to kind of explain the, the energy you know i i kind of felt like a little bit foolish because i was just like damn i can't believe like like i don't want to say like i wasted my time because i did get the lesson right but it's just that that it took me so long but that then it goes back to like why i have my channel like that's why i share my experience and what i'm going through because hopefully somebody out there can like learn from me and not have to stay stuck as long as i have stayed stuck in my life i'm a slow i have been a slow learner but you know two steps forward one step back is still moving forward right okay so clarify this divine feminine energy please all right, we're getting two. The Three of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, so this is uh, protecting what's hers, okay? It's it's facing, facing fears, all right? Because this says challenge and courage. And then this says enterprise, success, talent, teaching. So um, you could be coming together, like, because threes are about, like, working with others, okay? And there's Pentacles here. So... Um, working with others in regards to, and mushrooms is significant. Um, 
working with others to grow your foundations. Okay, uh, some of you may want to um, uh, drink, it, it's like mushrooms, like something about eating mushrooms, okay? Like I drink um, mushroom coffee, so maybe somebody needs to start doing that. And there's absolutely no withdrawal from coffee when you like switch from coffee to mushroom coffee, okay? Divine Masculine, okay, King of Wands. So this is the um, feeling, uh, yeah, let's see, it says motivation, uh, honor, standards, wisdom, okay? So the King of Wands energy, yes, yeah, so there's there's some sort of, like you could be hearing something, getting some sort of messages. You see how the little um, parrot is there on 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 your shoulder. Somebody could even have a parrot like as a pet, uh, but uh, there's something here about like taking action and because the king of wands, like he knows what he wants and he just goes and gets it. He's very charming. He's uh, very handsome and uh, but you know, real, like put, put yourself like whatever gender you relate to. Um, so this is making a decision on, I'm hearing to free himself from his past and, um, the five of cups is here. So it says loss, leaving sorrow. Okay. So this is being reignited about li like in life. All right, give me one card for the connection. Okay, there's two, nine of pentacles and the moon. Okay, so I feel like what um, you don't know is that uh, in regards to this connection is that um, for those of you that are coming into connection with somebody or it's like what's hidden is that um, you don't know that each other are single, but you're single. Everybody's single here. Okay. And there's something here about like, there's an independence. Okay. It's like established independence. It's, it's being able to pay your own bills and just like stand in life. Um, on your own, right? And this, it says dreams, intuition, and shadow. So, and this is coming in the center here where it's like both of you, I feel like are, are making a decision on whether or not to stay single or, um, you know, wh whether or not you want to just like do it again. I feel like there's a, um, a strong focus on money and finances and just wealth and prosperity. Yeah, here, the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Let's see what's underneath here. Ooh, the Mother Star, which is the Yes card. And it's literally, the Mother Star is a special card for this. And then we have the Death card, which is Transformation and the World underneath here, which is um, the closing out of a cycle. All right. So, but the Mother Star is, it's a Yes card, right? First of all, but it's, it's individual for this this deck and it just signify i'm going to actually read it to you guys because it's really cool how it what it represents um okay and i'll let you look at it so you can see it, it says uh the mother star it's a yes card the path that has led you to where you are today has been full of twists and turns there may have been times when you doubted yourself and lost faith in your guides the Mother Star's appearance means you are coming to a place now where you can look back and see that every setback served a purpose and every failure taught you as a much needed lesson, which is exactly what we were freaking talking about. Okay, uh, the strength and the strength, courage, and character you've gained along the way have made you into a unique and resilient person. It's time to step up and embody your full potential. The Mother Star holds a cup and a sword. She wears a pentacle around her neck and is flanked by wands. Her journey and soul explore, exploration connect her to, in a balanced way to each suit of the minor arcana. And if she appears in a reading where you have specific yes or no question, she represents a resounding yes. Her guide, the gentle three-eyed winged 
Tiger is also here to offer you assistance, vision, and strength as you embark on the new chapter of transformation. Wow. And then it says, live the full, li full life of the mind, exhilarated by new ideas, intoxicated by romance of the unusual. And that's Ernest Hemingway. So uh, this, this could be why whatever connection is coming towards you, it might not be one that uh, you expect or the people that you're going to be working with because I also feel uh, just many new connections coming, right? So um, just stay open, right? And it's seeing the power in like the action, okay? This is like not sitting and overthinking and over processing and over analyzing each situation. The King of Wands is, he takes action, okay? I feel like you're going to be, you're, pay attention to your dreams because you could be getting um, insight, like, uh, and answers to your questions and to your next move or for your next move, like through your dreams. So yeah, um, pay attention to that. And then I'm going to get one for, they said to get three. So let me get three. All right. Three cards for the collective here. First we have our love is eternal. It exists in every dimension and cannot be lost. Wow. Okay. So, and this card says union. All right. So I do feel like you're being, it's like every step counts every step matters and every step is taking you right to where you need to be first and for foremost like it's like this union with self but it's like this is definitely meeting your person being with your person i think you're beautiful inside and out i see the light that radiates from your soul and that's a one so we have three ones up here now it's a one 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 you could be seeing that which also states a, a fresh start or a new beginning all right one more when our conversations are light-hearted and playful it eases the tension that is sometimes there when we talk and this is a number two and this all adds up to two four five five which is about change and that is what the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in, change. And then it says, this number is a number seven, which is always significant. We get that a lot in each of these readings. It says, I've been giving my power away to the people in my life. To people in my life, I'm learning to set, set boundaries. Yeah, and I feel like this is why this this question is, is here. And this is why you guys are like calling in your soulmate because it's just like, you know what, like I keep trying to do it my way and... I just, I just keep coming up in a mess, right? In a bind or, um, because I'm hearing self-destructive patterns. All right. It's like that has been exposed to you. All right. And it's like, um, yeah, coming clean about your self-destructive patterns. And it's like not necessarily coming clean with anybody else, but coming clean with yourself. Right. And, um, making that decision to, uh, not be in denial, I feel like this this separation is ending. Yeah, see, look, chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic magnetic attraction here and getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And I feel like that's it's a step by step practice. Like I feel like what I okay now I just heard the rush is oh is now over. So um, whatever uh, may have been being forced it's like you it's it's like that energy has like dissipated like it's gone like like your um your focus is elf, elsewhere like your focus is just like wherever you are right and and you know you're taking action in your life through the, the wisdom that you've gained okay and this is help help you to elevate your standards and it's giving you the motivation to keep moving forward all right one more let me see 
Okay, we'll do one of these. One more for the collective here. Lemuria. That's so crazy because I went to the beach today and I, I got this like energy like so strong. And then Starseed, what lights you up? Yeah, some of you may have been awakened to um, like your star power or whatever your, the fact that you are a star, star seed. Okay. And odds are, <laughs> if you're listening to me and you resonate with me, like you are. All right. So, um, and it's a beautiful thing, right? It says creating heaven on earth. It's happening. That's exactly what you're doing. That's exactly what this is. Okay. By staying op optimistic, staying open, but you know, this, this, making a decision it's like you you don't have to make a decision too fast right so it's like i feel like you know you're enjoying your independence right now and just kind of um in this flow energy right it definitely pay attention to um your dreams but also uh, there's something here about Somebody could be hanging out in the forest or something, going out in the woods or something, sitting in the tree with the trees. Um, you could even like bring your dog with you, or just like just being outside at night, like taking on a walk at night. Maybe you need to take a walk at night and just kind of like look up at the stars and the and the moon. Ooh, you might even like uh, connect there with. Or see something. Yeah, the Miriam. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. Wow. Yeah, there's there's something there's something big coming. And then soul flame. Re rediscover a lost part of yourself. Experience relationship harmony and healing. I'm telling you, this is very uh, twin flamey. Okay. Um, A lot of healing has has had to happen for to get to this part right so um, there may still be a separation between you and your person uh, but I feel like it's necessary or it has been necessary okay depending on like where you are because everybody's at a different stage of this right uh, to gain independence and I feel like like the reflection, like the, cause there's something here. There is something here big about forgiveness. I feel like it's just kind of like, it's, it's like, it is what it is. Like it's, it's, it's all, it's all good. You know, you've just, you're just moving forward, like no longer staying mad. But although I do feel an energy of like somebody being still a little bit, you know, upset, you know, and it is being worked out you know, that's why the separation is still going on. It's like, and plus independence is still being uh, gained or being worked on. All right. But uh, yeah, this is really cool. Really awesome energy. Yeah. And see like these, le these lessons have to, um, do with like realizing like where you were giving your power away and learning to set boundaries and that's not easy especially like when it comes to people that have known you all your life or friends or people that uh, you've never been able to say say no to but it's like listen gaining true independence and just like reliance on yourself like it, it's not it's not like an overnight process. Like this shit takes work. You, you know, I, at least for me, I had to do it in steps, you know, just gathering courage to even be willing to stand up or like stand my ground in different situations. Right. I mean, so many people just, just stay stuck in like miserable relationships or just miserable jobs or whatever just because like they think that's the only place that they can make money or sometimes like you just don't feel like moving or you know whatever it's just simpler not to argue but like it comes at the cost of your life 
Okay, but the, the, you guys have been awakened you're to this. You are aware of this, okay? And um, yeah, your heartache is healing. Whatever's been being hidden is in regards to the heart is coming to the forefront. Whether this is like you having a reality check within yourself or um, somebody coming to share or you sharing something with somebody that you haven't shared with them yet. Yeah, there's another card. Okay, that's the getting to know each other card. Okay. All right, guys. There you have it. I hope this helps. I'll see you soon. Bye.